What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Malt Man episode. It is a cold, windy day here in Texas. Uh, we've been on the crappie fishing game for the past couple weeks, and we we're hoping that this week would be the legit spawn. But unfortunately, it's 51 degrees and blowing 30 miles an hour. So, came out to Jamie's to do a little squirrel hunt with the air guns. But since it's blowing 30 miles an hour, I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna find any squirrels. We've been looking all morning and haven't seen a single squirrel. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna have an interesting video today. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, my aunt Cindy and Jamie bought Ryder his first horse, and uh, this horse isn't quite broke in yet for Ryder to get on him. So. Uh, we're out here and we're gonna go saddle him up and see if see if I can't get bucked off I don't think he's gonna buck on me. We'll see. He's pretty spooky. So we're gonna go uh, try to do a little break in on this horse and then um, Maybe come out and do a little rabbit hunting if the wind dies down at all Maybe some squirrels, but I think we may be able to push a few rabbits out of the brush We'll see so we're gonna go up here y'all get to see Ryder's new horse and uh Maybe get to see me get bucked off a pony. Y'all help Ryder think of a name. Little Blackie. Do what? <laughs> Don't let him kick you. Good day to do it, good and cool. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh, little pony. Little pony. Let me just put a hop on it first. Pull back. Come in right here. Here's his friend over there. You got a brush? Uh, I don't have a brush, but the saddle's over there in the pad. And then we'll have to take the pad off from the girt off of that little saddle. Put it on it. <laughs> He's shaking. Yeah. Sucker gonna buck me off. No, you're not. Here you go. You wanna go get that other bird? Yeah, let me put this saddle on. Oh, he been saddled before. Oh, I saddled him. Oh, you have? Yeah, I saddled him. Remember, I saddled him and drove him and stuff. Played with him. That girl that rode him the other day, it saddled just about the same size. You know? That no, rode no, that other pony? Yeah, I rode that other one, yeah. You do that and run around here. Yeah, you don't remember John Wayne no more. Throw that. That's what you need. That's a lot of that. This needs to be. The other little pony got out somehow. Alright. I don't think this thing is real good. Very tight. It's tight enough for me. What about you? No, it ain't. <laughs> for me, it is. Oh yeah, it's that. For the viewers at home, walk him around a little bit. Yeah, that bit. Come on. Put this on here. Up in your mouth. The cockpit said they're four years old. Both of them. Whoa. 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 
do that with me on <laughs> He's getting the saddle off. What are you trying to get a buck, ain't he? <laughs> Man, he smoked my leg. I don't know what he freaked out over or something. A little wind got him, dude. He smoked my ankle. Dang it. I like where Mikey told you to get the camera and get out here and he got out stayed over there. <laughs> Dang it, I wish you'd got that on video. I know it. I'm sure. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Videos. <laughs> Those horses bucking and just kick the guy square in the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it almost looked like it's gonna happen to you. He went under and he come out and blow water out of his nose, you know. And I kept him right on the edge of that water. He couldn't throw me. Yeah. And uh, I got him out of the water and he threw me again. <laughs> That's so good to fuck now. Probably a summer job, really. Yeah. But we need to, but if you mess with him a whole lot, you get him friendly and then you leave him. Well, guys, we don't have enough, a small enough girt strap to, for me to get on him today. So. We're gonna wait to break him until it gets hot out too. Wear him out a little bit, let him sweat it out. He's still pretty frisky today. It's cold and windy, this wind's spooking him, but he did good leading him around and all that good stuff. So we're gonna unsaddle him, get him out of here. And uh, then we're gonna go wrap this video up doing something else. So y'all leave in the comments what you wanna see. I don't know what we're gonna get into, but we're gonna do something fun. I sure would hate for that door to shut on him. Go on, it ain't going to the window blowing it open. Shoot, that's a cap on me now. Go anywhere you take me. Let me see if you get on that porch out there. <laughs> Walking in the house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm well ahead of the dog on the house porch, but I wouldn't go to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's a man. I feel like a lighter. Come on, Blackie. He said what? JC? Yeah. He come out and he, he checked his, uh, let the car out and stuff there. Just walk. The new tractor. We may come back up here Friday and... Brand speaking. Stay sound. Yeah. One, two, we'll crank it up. Uh huh? One, two, we'll crank it up. That won't work. That don't work. <laughs> that that don't work. <laughs> they never work. Don't come need on. those. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's your thermostat, boy. That antifreeze real good. Real good for the ground. It won't hurt it. <laughs> Just don't let your dog as well. Left the crazy pony. And uh, now we're headed to get some poultry. I had quail a few years ago. If you've been around the channel at all, I butchered my last batch of quail because they wouldn't lay eggs. Um, and Angel really wants to get meat chickens this year, but not quite ready for that. So I'm gonna go get a bunch of quail. I don't really know which ones we're getting yet. They have like anything from one day old to full grown 
layers. So we're gonna go over here and pick us out some Caternix quail. Then we gotta go to the feed store and get a bunch of stuff to take care of them and then take them home. So I don't know if I can film here or not. I don't know if she'll let me film picking out the quail, but if she doesn't, I will show you as soon as we get back in the truck with the quail. And then, like I said, we gotta go get food. I already got waters, I already got a cage, a brooder and all that, lights, keep them nice. Um, so yeah, that's the plan now, going to get quail. I would like to get quail eggs to pickle them, but uh, if they don't start laying eggs, we're just gonna butcher them again because I love eating quail. So that's the plan. As we are here, not too far from my house actually, it's pretty cool to find this, but it's a covey, a covey of full life. What is it? A covey of what? A covey full life. A covey full life. So she started a YouTube channel. She's gonna be, she just gave us a ton of great information, uh, but I'll put that link in the description box. But she's got all kinds of stuff. Every color of Caternix quail you can think of. Look at these little, they're called button quail. They're uh, itty bitty. This is the egg that she pulled out of there. It is like the size of your fingernail. And then she's got uh, turkeys over here. Some chickens. Yeah, it's almost that time. Uh, her list is too long to buy turkeys, so we're gonna settle on quail today. She's gonna pick us some out, some layers, or close to laying eggs within a week or two, um, cause I really wanna have pickled quail eggs. She got a bunch of males over here that I may come back just to get for butcher. How much do you sell the males for, for butchering? $4 each. $4? Yeah. Dang, that's like. Okay. Dude, that's cheap right there. Cause they're like the size of a, um, what do you call them, little chickens? Uh, Cornish, game hens. Cornish game hens. So she's got males over here maybe. I just need to talk Angel into buying a bunch of male quail and we can have a butcher day and have a bunch of quail to eat. But, so these are females and these are the males. They're stacked in there too, in that back part. That's cool. So, that's the gist. She's putting a box together. She's gonna pick us out. I told her 100 bucks worth of quail, so we'll see how many we get. Uh, I think the ones that are close to laying are uh, six or seven bucks, but she got some ducks over there too. So, really cool. I love coming to places like this and uh, seeing how everybody sets their stuff up. We could build these easy. That's kind of like my chicken coop, except for it has a floor, but <laughs> pretty cool. So I will be checking the webbing just to make sure. Um, I'll show you what that means in case you ever had a question about colors or whatever. Um, this one I know for sure is not for sale because he's part of my project. When I clip their feet when they hatch, I have them sorted in different um, bags when they go to hatch. But if I'm holding him like this, the right hand foot is one, two, three, four. And so his coat is one, two, three. And that is. Oh, you is, clipped the webbing, I see. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. there's a web there and not there. And then that way I don't have to have a hundred different brooders. I can just have specific um, sorting ability. So. So do I need to have a light on them or are they good outside? They are good. They yeah. have nothing. So how so. do they do when it gets down to like 30? They are totally fine. Um, the only time I've ever blocked anything, it was during snow apocalypse. The cold rider tell them we got them some quail. They'll be excited. I'm gonna go get my net. <laughs> How many do you have in here? Um, that I don't know, and I need to pull out a few chocolate breeders, but I probably have close to 100 in here. At 250? At 250 if you take 100. Oh, I think so, I need to come get them. Um, the males will have this bulge back here, Yep. and if you squeeze it, oh, foam yeah. comes out. So usually you can just tell by the bulge. The females won't have the bulge, and then up around here, the females will have a much bluer skin tone than the males do. The males also stand up tall and crow. That one looked like he was going to Yeah, I just saw Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell by that. Um, 
that wow. if you're watching you can see the males that way yeah see stand up tall and crow <laughs> that's cool well i may be calling you here shortly to come get we just need to find a good bitch today okay be a good day to do that yeah tomorrow. we can walk you through how to do that too if you want my husband is three to five ounces standard is six to nine ounces and jumbo hits 10 ounces at 10 weeks old so most of my jumbos are going to be closer to 12 to 14 ounces um for live bird obviously you lose yeah. a little bit when you get there but so it's still cheaper than chicken though at 250 a yeah. pound yeah for sure huh. so yeah and i mean i have teenage sons and two maybe three males even of the standard size some of these chocolates are jumbo some of them are standard even at the standard size two to three per person yeah. is about like i usually never eat more than two so at dinner cool yeah i may be back all right Thanks. all right my, my shop is a mess ninja tore it up but got the cage in here it's going to be moved outside eventually i was going to give them a little nice warm welcoming to the mullet stead Oh, oh, oh! She got us some pretty ones in here. Ninja's gonna be terrorizing these birds. I think we ended up with 17. Let's count them. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and the coolest one is this one, number eighteen. Got red eyes. She said that this one, it's a she, is uh, sensitive to the sunlight. And see these little balls on their feet? We gotta try to pinch those off, she said. So I got some little pliers and you just have to kind of break it without ripping their toes off. Just like that. Clean their toes up a little bit for them. Just like that. This one's all bloody, poor girl. She said when it gets real wet out, they, uh, the poop likes to stick to their feet and ball up like this. I don't want to hurt you, girl. Just like that. That feels better, doesn't it, girl? Hey, 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 hey. All right, there's your home. Looks like they found the food. Now we need to get them some water. But uh, this cage is really cool, so the eggs roll down into this. So the eggs don't get poop all over them, and they just roll down in here, and I can have Ryder send Ryder out every morning to, or afternoon to pick out eggs. So we're gonna get them some water and then this video is still not over. It keeps going. I uh, just got a call that my jet boat is done. So got some plants started over here too for the garden. Oh, and we already got a grower. Man, that didn't take long. That is collard greens. Got them growing, heck yeah. All right, we'll see you in the truck on the road on the way to get the jet boat. Guys, I just noticed we got our first egg. She didn't have an egg in this whole pen. We got our first quail egg. That is so cool right there. That's a pretty egg too. Nice speckled egg. Ryder will have fun picking these eggs up every day. Guys, we actually forgot to film last night. Didn't get home till uh, 10.30 last night. Had to drive like two and a half hours to go get the old jet boat, but we did get her done. $1,200 later to get the old Merc fixed up. 
uh, it was a crazy thing that happened. He had never seen it before. Is the actually a pin on the shaft that goes in the jet that makes the impeller turn sheared off. So we don't know what happened, but hopefully she's good. I've had this motor for like five years and I've never put a penny into it other than filling that gas tank up and putting a little oil in it. So um, <clears throat> got the jet boat back. It's cold and windy again today, so we're not gonna be doing anything today in the jet boat, but stay tuned for the next video. We'll be ripping the jet boat somewhere, catching something. Y'all leave it in the comments what you guys wanna see, fishing, hunting, uh, y'all leave it in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style video today. Uh, until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.